There are 20 months until the World Cup final and Eddie Jones is leaving no stone unturned to make sure England are there. This week's training camp with Georgia who boast one of the world's fiercest scrums is not the first time his training methods have raised an eyebrow. Here, sports may look at his other unusual ideas. First Wales, now Georgia, rather than smash shoulders against teammates. England have staged full intensity scrummaging drills with rival nations. Georgia provide a particularly stern test because their forwards have perfected the art of the scrum through their national love for wrestling. GB hockey coach Danny Carey was asked to visit camp after winning gold at the 2016 Olympics in Rio after a meeting with Jones. Carey claimed he was brought in, plugged in, downloaded and then thank you very much Jones was taken by Carey's 10x4m shed featuring a Sabuteo pitch. England enlisted the help of Spider Aerial Filming. A company that specializes in aerial shots for high-budget television shows such as Downton Abbey. The drones can cost around £3,000 each and hover above training to produce footage on running lines and team shape. Coaches can watch live recordings on a 19-inch LED television monitor at the side of the training pitch. The iGym training is also designed to enhance reaction times and coordination. Players were previously warned to limit the use of mobile phones because the small screens limit eye movement. Lineout guru Steve Borthwick has found novel ways of taking the hookers out of their comfort zone to mimic the challenges of fatigue. Dylan Hartley and Jamie George practice throw-ins whilst wearing boxing gloves with the ball covered in slippery fairy liquid whilst balancing on a wobbly ball. Rather than head to the beach, England are constantly looking at improving fitness and took lessons from cycling's endurance. The cyclists ride 240 kilometers and then have a 45-minute cycle to their bus, said Jones. Cyclists deal with that and staying in two-star hotels, they will put up with anything to get the job done. The half netball. Half rugby ball is a popular choice in training. Jones like to mix up the types of ball used in training to help improve skills. The aim is to improve dexterity with players even training with half-half balls in warm-ups before a big test. England used Gilbert's rebounder match weight training ball. Designed to allow players to train on their own by throwing the round end at a wall or the floor it will bounce and spiral back to you. The ball is supposed to help perfect spin passing, line out throwing, scrum half passing and drop kicks. England, however, use the ball in full training in order to improve handling. The thought process being if you can catch a small misshapen ball then it will be easier to grab the real thing. Jones has a long-standing love for football. He first met Pep Guardiola during his time at Bayern Munich and was impressed by the intensity of the 20-minute sessions which focused on players finding space. Jones has since collaborated with Arsene Wenger, Antonio Conte and Garrett Southgate, Steve Borthwick, Neil Hatley and Paul Gustard have been the constant figures in Jones' backroom, but the Australian likes to keep people on their toes and there has been a revolving door of short-term consultants. These include Glenn Ella, Chris Wiles and most recently, Mark Dalmasso.